Hey guys, and welcome to Color Correction and Final Cut Pro. This is part two of the series. In this video, we'll take a look at one of Final Cut Pro's automatic color correction features, the balance color effect. Using this effect, Final Cut Pro will automatically adjust the color and contrast in your clip. Using this feature can be a huge time saver in color correction. If you enjoy my tutorials, please like, comment, and share this video. And make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss my future tutorials. When you import your clips into Final Cut Pro, you have an option to analyze for balance color. If you select this, Final Cut Pro will analyze your clip to see if it needs color correction. This will not change or correct anything, just analyze your clip. If you didn't select this option when importing your clips, this can easily be done at any point. Simply select your clip in the browser, and from the menu bar, choose Modify, Analyze and Fix, select the Analyze for Balance Color checkbox, and hit OK. Now, this is where things get a little bit confusing. In order to use Final Cut Pro's Balance Color feature, you do not need to analyze your clip for balance color. If your clip is analyzed, Final Cut Pro will look at the entire clip when decided what to correct. And when not analyzed, it only looks at the selected frame. Let's take a look at my timeline. I have the same clip imported twice. I'll select my first clip, and from the menu bar select Modify, and balance color. Final Cut Pro automatically corrects the color and contrast in my clip. If I open the inspector, I can see the balance color effect, and because I analyze this clip, it shows it as analyzed. I can toggle the effect on and off by clicking this checkbox. That's all there is to it. There's really nothing more you can do. You can just turn it on or off. I found this feature to be either a hit or a miss. Now, let's take a look at the next clip in my timeline. This is the same clip, but when importing it, I did not analyze it for balance color. When applying this effect, your playhead position is very important because Final Cut Pro will correct color based on the selected frame. I'll select my clip, place a playhead over my selected frame, and apply a balance color effect. Notice in the inspector, beside balance color, it shows my clip as not analyzed. Final Cut Pro still corrects my entire clip, but the correction applied is based on the selected frame instead of the entire clip. Let's compare the two clips side by side. Notice the analyzed clip is a little less saturated and has a bit of a cooler feel, as opposed to the warmer feel of the not analyzed clip. Like I said before, this effect is really a hit or a miss. It can work amazingly well, or it can go the other way and make your clip look terrible. What I do personally, is I try the balance color effect without analyzing my clip first. Then, if I don't like the result, I'll go back and analyze the clip, then apply the balance color effect. This can make a huge difference sometimes, but if the result after that is still not what I want it to be, then I color correct manually. I will show you how I do that in one of my upcoming videos. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss it. If you found this video helpful, please let me know by liking, commenting, and sharing. Feel free to ask any questions you may have in the comments, and I'll do my best to answer them. So, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you back for my next video.